Hey, my name is Sheldon Lewis. I'm from Montreal, Canada, and I came to meet all the fellow CHMers, and I came to listen to all the scientific information at this wonderful conference. I was diagnosed with choroideremia when I was 10 years old. The family kind of knew something was happening. My grandfather was blind and they took me to the doctor. The doctor told me I had choroideremia. I looked at my mother and said, how am I going to do the textile business? And then my mother went on to call it RP for the rest of my life. RP is another cousin disease, eye disease. And uh, very many people get confused diagnoses. Later get recorrected to choroideremia. So even though it was correctly diagnosed when I was 10, which was wonderful, my mother kept on calling it RP. When I was diagnosed, I could see everything except in the dark. So summer camp was a big problem. Running around chasing the girls at night couldn't happen. Going to the bathroom outside the cabin was a big problem. And I spent many uncomfortable nights waiting for light to come up. This is my first conference, and my first takeaway from it was that there are so many partners who know how to guide their partners. I've never seen that many capable people in the same place in my life. Um, so far, I've had a good time. I've met a lot of people that I didn't know before. We all have a common cause and a common bondship, and uh, I like that. I found out about the foundation um, when I started to get really blind. I lost a lot of my sight. I said, okay, I better find out about the Corey de Rumi Foundation. Um, I contacted Corey, who told me about Bob Hillier in Canada. He had a CRF foundation there as well. So I joined as a board member over there, and I've been a good member, a lifetime member ever since then. You know, fundraising is really important for the CRF. It's the only organization, organization that I know that I could fundraise for that funds research into my eye condition. So when I got involved with the foundation and became the board member, at the same time, gene therapy was just starting to happen. And I was told that Canada needed to commit $50,000 over a five-year period to get this program going of gene therapy. So I said to myself, wow, over five, over five years, I could commit to the, to the $10,000 a year. So I decided to put on a fundraiser. And I had not only collected 10000 I collected 40000 It was great. I, I donated the money both, to both organizations in the States and in Canada. Well, I organized what I called a Maz Pool Gala. My friend who lived in Philadelphia, he volunteered his house. He had a pool in the backyard. He organized a tent. We had a band. At 20 people came, but mostly I leaned on all my business contacts and friends all over the world to fund this research project that would eventually help save my eyesight. So they all gave. I recently discovered a new initiative that the CRF Foundation put up called Convo Night. And I've been talking about this ever since I started to attend nine months ago. It's fantastic. Every generation of people who were involved from the beginning of their diagnosis until uh, someone like my age and we all talk about the different things that we do to adapt and and cope with and we all tell each other funny stories and blind man jokes it's fantastic so I would say that any new person newly diagnosed person with CHM should and and I we want them to come into this convo night and if they don't want to do that Please get in touch with Corey. There are other initiatives like Music Night, Beer Night, Sports Night, 
and it's just a way to interact with other people that have great arrhythmia. We're all fun people and we all talk about the things that happen to us which we have to laugh at. The family nature of CRF is, is, is incredible. It's very deep. Um, I, I've, never, I've never been so happy to meet all the different people. It's a real bonding experience. And, and now I feel like I have a connection to people that have so, I have something in common with. I'm so lucky, and we as a community are so lucky that the founders of the Corridoremia Foundation ever got together because they've made the biggest difference in the possible outcome of our very rare genetically linked eye condition. So thank you to all of you.